All right, everyone. So in this do now for 3.3, we are showing how we can use custom blocks in a small example script. So right now you can see um, this is a finished version of what we're about to create. You can see right there on the bottom, I have a dog who walks and you can see that's kind of animated. You can see his little paws going pretty fast. Um, in addition to walking left and right, of course, if I press the space bar like I'm doing now, my dog can jump as well. Um, so let's get in how to do that. So we have three objectives in this, um, inside of this, this do now. The first thing we want to do is make it so that when the dog walks left and right, it will basically, we will basically be able to have an animation of the dog moving. So um, that part is pretty simple. If you remember our costumes, um, basically we have two costumes in this dog. So I can show those right here. And it just is different, you know, positions of the little guy's legs. So what I'm gonna do is every time that the user is plus pressing left or right, I'm basically just gonna switch that costume. So that part's pretty simple to start off with. Um, the second thing that we want to do is go ahead and click stop first, but we want to make it so that the dog can jump. Um, again, this is pretty simple. Um, go to control. I basically just wanna use the exact same um, script that they showed in the um, example on the documentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and change Y by 10, and then I'm going to make it so that I am sensing for a key for space to be pressed. So right now, if we go ahead and do this, you'll see the issue is I can pretty much just continuously jump, right? So anytime that I hit the space bar, the dog will just continue to go up and up until I've lost him. Um, obviously, that doesn't make any sense in real life, and in pretty much any game we play, we have gravity to sort of keep us grounded, right? So what I'm going to do is add a custom block called gravity. So excuse the weird capital letters, but I'm going ahead and keep it like this. Um, what I want to do in gravity is continuously check and see if we are touching the ground, and if we are not, I want to bring the dog down. So I'm going to go to control. I'm going to do if, and I'm going to say if, and I'm gonna use an operator because I know I want this to be a non-true condition. So I'm going to say if I am not touching a color, and I'm gonna make that color, the brown color, the same right here as we have inside the stage. If I'm not touching that brown ground color, I want to motion, change my Y, by, I'm gonna use negative two here because I think that's a good value. And I'm going to click okay. And so now I'm gonna add this gravity block inside of my forever loop. And again, just like any custom block that we use, it is just a graphical representation really of the exact same thing that we're using. Um, in more complicated versions, of course, we will use you know input scripts like we have right here, but it basically just makes the sprite move um, the same as it would if, if this gravity block were expanded and if that definition were placed right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna change I'm gonna go ahead and click start real quick and I'm going left and right and I'm jumping and you can see now if I jump, my dog also comes down, but I sort of float like a balloon. So there's still one more change that we need to make to this script. You can see right here inside my if key space press, it'll change Y by 10, but it has no real condition to check and see if I'm on the ground, right? Cause I can't jump if I'm already in the air. So I'm going to do is pull key space pressed out I'm gonna to go to my operators and I'm going to use an or condition. Actually, no, I'm gonna use an and condition, I believe. I'm gonna put key space pressed right here. And I'm going to say if the key space is pressed and I can only jump if I'm already touching the ground. So I'm gonna to do touching and I'm gonna click the same color like we did before. And I'm gonna use the color block instead. If I am touching the ground and the key space is pressed, I'm gonna change, and I'm gonna change Y by 50. This will make my life just a little bit easier and you'll see why in just a second, because now I can actually jump high enough to actually land on the blocks. So if I jump, my dog can actually go ahead and land on the blocks. And that is how you complete Do Now 3.3.